Hello and welcome back to Tools for Sparks where today we're reviewing this for yellow screwdrivers. I know that some of you guys have been wondering about these. What is going on? You may have seen them on Lee's Instagram on our Artisan Electrics channel where he uses them sometimes at work. But today I thought let me get my hands on a set and we'll get them open and see what they're like because there's something quite intriguing about a set of yellow screwdrivers. Now obviously Vera, Weera, whatever you call them, amazing quality tools in general. I was going to slash this open, but you know what I'm going to do? What I like about the Vera tools is you can literally just slide that off. So without further ado, we're going to get these open, give them a try and let you know my honest thoughts. But first, like, subscribe and let's get into it. What an unusual colour. I mean, these are screwdrivers, but have you ever seen screwdrivers that colour before? There's just something so intriguing about them. Let's have a little look and see if they feel any different. Well, they feel like normal Vera screwdrivers. Uh, let's see what's on the end. So we've got the usual markings. So this is a 5.5 millimetre flat screwdriver which is probably one of the standard ones that you might use to do up sockets and switches and things so in the set we have three flats so you've got a small one here which is 2.5 by 0.4 then you've got a slightly larger one uh, 3.5 by 0.6 and then this one like I said 5.5 by 1 millimeter so the 5.5 just so you know how it works with screwdrivers the 5.5 is the width of this so that's 5.5 millimeters basically like half a centimeter the width there and then this is the other dimension so that's one millimeter thick so with these this one is 3.5 millimeters wide there and 0.6 millimeters thick there um, probably telling you things that you already know but just sometimes it's good to explain the simple things the other three are these so we have a pz2 here which is probably the one that we use the most as electricians uh, and then we've got a pz1 again you know pretty common to use and then this one is another flat it's a four mil wide by 0.8 mil thick. Now, to be honest, this is probably the one that I would use the most as a terminal screwdriver uh, to do. You know, it's good to fit the terminals in lights, but it will also in lights, light switches, but also the terminals and sockets. So I'm going to give these a go in these socket outlets. I'm going to just try terminating this twin and earth cable into a couple of sockets and switch fuse connection units just to get a real feel for you know if they're any good or not, and then I'll let you know all my thoughts. As always, the, with the Weera stuff, or Vera, whatever you call it, you've got this lovely sticker. Always nice packaging. Now, these, these just come in the basic packaging. Some of the Vera screwdriver sets do come with a little soft case as well, but this set doesn't. Let's have a go, first of all, to see which terminal fits best. So I reckon this is perfect. If we try the larger one... Yeah, see... So I don't know if you can see that, but it just it scrapes the edges of the terminal slightly. So that's the thickest one, the 5.5. It's just slightly too thick. So we're going to put that one to one side and we're going to use the 4mm as our standard for doing up these terminals because that fits absolutely perfectly. So tightening up a loose terminal feels nice, secure, etc but let's try it with a wire in it. For all of the haters out there who are like, oh, you didn't put any earth sleeving on it. You know, this is usually a test video and I don't go, you know, I don't usually follow the whole process that I would follow when I'm actually installing a socket. It's literally just to test it out. But just for all those keyboard warriors who moan that I'm not putting on uh, earth sleeving, there we go. So we'll start with our neutral. Oh, too much exposed copper, I hear you say. Okay, I will admit I've not actually terminated a, a socket outlet for quite a while. There we go. That actually feels quite nice. Mm. 
Okay, so that goes good. And the thing is, it's a screwdriver at the end of the day. So, okay, it feels good, but does it feel any better than any of the other Vera screwdrivers? Not really. I mean, it is a screwdriver. Vera do make nice screwdrivers. I must say I, I like them. Their tools in general are really good quality. There are other screwdrivers out there that I like just as much, probably like the Klein ones, for example, are up there with the Vera ones. Some people actually don't like the grip on the Vera because they can be a little bit slippery, but these feel pretty good, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's a great screwdriver, but you know, why would you buy this rather than a normal red and yellow you know, the other way around. So they've just inverted the colours on this, I think. Basically, that's what they've done. They've just put... that. Normally, it's red, and that is yellow. They've just inverted the colours. Why would you buy this rather than a normal one? Uh, I have no idea other than that you like the colour, basically. And I think that's it. Like, Lee got these because he just thought they looked cool, and they do look cool. They look different, you know? And some Sparkies, they just want to have something that's a bit different in their tool bag, something that stands out, something that maybe, you know, nobody else that they know has got. I get it. You know, if you're looking for something like that, well, after this video, probably everyone will have them, but <laughs> if you're looking for something a bit different, these are cool, you know, they're a bit different. Now on the back, it's got all the usual stuff, craft form ergonomics, uh, the anti-roll function, which is something that I only discovered recently. It's a very simple design feature, but basically the fact that these are not completely round, but they're actually hexagonal means that it won't roll when you put it down, in theory anyway. Yeah, it still rolls. <laughs> um, the other thing is obviously it's VDE rated, 1000 volts and extra durable apparently. Now that is something that I would like to test at some point. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do a test video where I basically try to destroy a few different screwdrivers and see which ones work the best because let's be honest, we've probably all had a PZ1 that at some point has snapped you know one of these little bits has snapped off of it now i know that the weha ones seem to be quite um quite uh, renowned for breaking easily weira or vera i don't think i've ever actually broken one that i can remember and that might mean that these are actually superior quality um klein i think i've broken one of those as well to be honest but I can't exactly remember. So I think the only way really would be to do a side-by-side -side test on these at some point and see, can we break them? You know, which one breaks most easily? But let me know in the comments if you've ever broken a screwdriver and if you have, what brand was it? And have you found that any particular brands break easier than others? I'd love to know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I'm not going to prolong this video any longer because at the end of the day it is what it is. It's a, a lovely looking screwdriver. The set has everything that you could need in terms of your standard Sparky screwdrivers. So that's what I like about it. And it's very reasonably priced as well. So, you know, for price versus quality, I think you can't go wrong buying yourself a set of these. If you are in the market for a new set of screwdrivers, why not get yourself these? Now, we'll leave links in the description below where you can get uh, these online for a good price um, it is an affiliate link so we do get a little bit of commission if you click on it which helps support the channel and helps us to make more videos but either way thanks for watching guys make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and we'll see you on the next one